What's up, guys? Danny with Swamp and Stuff. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about climbers and the things that you're going to need to get started in climbing trees and hunting out of trees for ambush type hunts. You're going to need a climber whether you buy one used or you buy one new. If you do buy one um, used, make sure that you go ahead and get yourself a harness. It doesn't have to be one just like this one. There's all kinds of uh, harnesses, but what is very important with the harness is that it is comfortable. If it's uncomfortable, that there's less chances that you're probably not going to wear it. So these vest style harnesses are not that expensive, and um, as far as comfort goes, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, this thing has, it's got pockets left and right, and then uh, the actual vest itself makes it pretty comfortable. It's kind of like a mesh, so the air goes right through it and it's not too hot. Um, but it, it is important that you have a harness and that you go ahead and use it. Another thing that you're gonna wanna get for your climber is mole strap. Um, they're relatively cheap. I think somewhere around the lines of like, you can find them for like 20 to 30 bucks on Amazon or eBay. Um, this one was used, it was like an old military style mole strap, and um, this thing is great. It kind of divides the pressure up on your on your shoulders, so you can dig into your collar or your shoulders, and uh, it has a little pad for your back as well. It just makes it really comfortable to carry this tree stand. Um, Mark has a video on how he has his setup. We do something kind of a similar setup, but he runs his upside down and adds the strap and stuff, but you can check out the video right up here. Mine is basically just a molded strap, and I put the stand how they recommend from the factory, and um, yeah, I don't have any extra straps or anything, it's just the mole, and um, that holds it all together. So to put the pack on, that. Flip to center. And I'm off to the woods. So whenever I get to my tree, I'll go ahead and unclip here. Remove the climber. Down here you have these little clips for the bottom of the all the strap. Pull on that. That comes loose. That's it. You have your two pieces. I like to put the top, the bottom first, so that whenever I'm putting the top on, I have something to rest it on.
So you always want to make sure once you have your stand on the tree, do not forget to add this little bungee or rope or whatever your stand has because if the bottom of your stand falls out from under you while you're climbing or while you're sitting up there, you're going to have to call somebody or like some of my friends who have this happen to me, um, bear up the tree and slide down. That's not fun. You end up with scratching up your forearms and tear your shirt and worse, you can free fall and really hurt yourself. So, um, you know, make sure you put this bungee on before you climb up. If you're uh, new to hunting and you just got to stand, you know, spend some time either in the park or in your yard, wherever you can to um, get it up on a tree and spend some time getting familiar with the tree stand. Even if you're just a foot or two, if you're four feet off the ground, be sure to put on your harness because a fall from four feet, you may not think it's much, but you can easily fall and break your arm or break your wrist or worse, if you fall on your head, you can kill yourself. So, you know, make sure you do wear your harness even at low um, altitude. So, once you have your tree stand, your climber on the tree, you know, go ahead and set it up like if you were going to go hunt. Like if you were setting it up at the altitude. Um, if you're going to put any straps on the tree for gear, um, go ahead and do that down here and see where you like it. You know, if you, if you kind of have an idea of how you want it to sit or where you want your gear on the ground, it's really easy to make that up. In the tree. Um, it's going to take some time to getting used to the heights. You know, if you're not used to climbing trees or using a climber, uh, the first few trips out, you might want to start off a little bit lower. Not everybody likes to get really high up in the trees. Personally, I feel like I like being as high as possible for the area that I'm hunting um, without blocking any of my um, shot opportunities, simply because I like to have my smell as far off the ground as possible. So um, it's also conceals movement. So if I'm up, you know, 25 feet up, 30 feet up in the air, if I'm moving around doing whatever, it's harder for them to pick me up. All right. So enough about that. Um, so once you have your stand set up, you want to make sure you have a means to pull up your backpack or bow or whatever it is. Personally, I like to use a paracord about 35 feet and I just keep it all wrapped up and I put it right inside here in the little um, sheath. Put it in here and I zip it. So I keep it rolled up. On the end I have a little carabiner, a little wire gate carabiner. Like I said, I just roll it up. Once I'm, before I'm going to climb up, I attach this to my bow or my backpack. And then once I get up there, I can hoist it up easily. Um, usually if I'm hunting in an area that I have pretty good visibility and my shot um, windows are, you know, 25, 30 yards, then I'll just leave this hanging. If I'm in a more confined area, I'll go ahead and roll it up and put it away where it goes. Uh, if you're a bow hunting, if you're going to be mainly bow hunting out of your climber, you want to get a bow holder. There's nothing more uncomfortable than sitting in your stand with your bow on your lap. Um, you know, if you go to grab your phone or get something out of your backpack, it's real easy to drop your bow. Um, I'll admit it, I've dropped my bow once. Luckily, I'm shooting a Hoyt, so it can take a beating. But, uh, so now you got your line set up. Um, you got your climber all set up here, ready to go. Your bow mount is on there. Um, go ahead and Go ahead and mount your bow, even if you're at a, I guess at a park or wherever you are, and you're able to do this, mount it up and adjust your, your bow rest so that your bow sits the way you want it to. My, my bow sits about right there and my seat hangs down a little bit and uh, it's just perfect. So whenever I'm ready to shoot, I'll have an arrow knocked and uh, that's it, it's ready to go. All I got to do is grab my bow, draw up, and I'm ready to shoot. Another item that you're going to want is something.
something to hold your quiver. So, you know, my stand, I got this little piece here. It's nice because once I have my, once I'm at my height and I got my bow up, I take the quiver off my bow and then it's set up right there. So, makes it nice and easy to go ahead and grab an arrow and re knock if I need to. So now you got your stand all set up and ready to roll. You're going to be hunting the same spot or somewhere close to that area. Um, sometimes it's a pain to have to drag all your gear out of the woods, although it's a risk leaving it behind. But to kind of minimize that risk, what I like to do is lock up my stand in the woods. And I only do this if it's going to be an overnight kind of thing. So if I go out in the, let's say the day before, um, the hunt, I'll go ahead and go out and set up my stand so that in the morning I'm not uh, stinking up the area. And this is one way that I like to lock my gear up. So with this stand in particular, this is a Summit Viper SD and a lot of the actual summits um, run the same kind of cabling system. So what I'll do is pull the cable forward a little bit and then you want to take a cable type lock I'm using master lock from um, Home Depot so you take the point tip pull your cable forward a little bit then you press down with your thumb and you want to go over the top of the cable okay Pull that all the way through and then you do the same for the other side and then the same for the top and what that does is if somebody's gonna try to come steal your your stand they're either gonna have to cut this cable this cable or cut the stand itself and uh, I'd hope that you know you're just leaving it overnight you don't have uh, somebody going around with bolt cutters that's capable of doing that and stealing stands so this is gonna um, help deter somebody from stealing your stuff, but you can't leave it out there for a week and expect it to come back and it still be there. So the way it works is somebody tries to pull this up and get this back through here. You can't, and if you're gonna push the cable forward, there's no there's no way that you're gonna actually be able to get the cable that's holding it to the tree out of this area. I've tried it multiple times and this method works really well. Um, again, it's for if you're leaving it overnight or, um, you know, maybe a day or two, this will be good. If you're way back in the woods where um, not a lot of people are going, you may have a chance of leaving it a little bit longer, but that's up to your own discretion. Something else you want to keep an eye on is your cables. So pretty much this is the only thing keeping you in the tree aside from your harness. Um, and your harness is like pretty much a last resort. You don't want to be uh, depending on that um, only. So you want to keep your sand maintenance up to par. Um, I've had these cables for about three years now. And as you can see, they have a good bit of wear on them. So this season, I'm going to go ahead and replace them. Um, there's no rust on the cable itself but there's rust on these crimps, um, these crimp pieces. And personally, I don't trust it. Um, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of wear on the cable. So these aren't terribly expensive. I think they're like 50 to 60 bucks for the set and it's well worth it. Um, the stand itself is aluminum. So the only hardware you're probably gonna have to replace from time to time is anything steel on there bolts and such and uh, primarily the cables all right so I see people struggle quite a bit with um, harnesses they do take a little um, bit to get used to I'm going to show you how I put on my harness and this has been the easiest way that I have found and um, even in dark situations which is usually when we're putting them on or taking them off it makes it easy so what you
what you want to do is grab your harness from the tag end. All right. Lay the harness down. And you have these two loops where your legs go through. So what I'll do is I'll step into those. I still got the tag end in my hand. And just start lifting on the tag end. Once you have it up here, put one arm through. You might have to work it a little bit. The other arm through. And you're all set. You go ahead and buckle in. Buckle in the top. Mine has this little thing here to keep the pockets kind of where you need them. That's it. And you want to make sure your legs are snug. Um, you want to be able to have it tight enough where you can not fit your whole hand through it, but just snug enough to get your fingers through. And practice, you know, practice sitting down and make sure that it doesn't get uncomfortably tight um, whenever you're sitting down in the stand. And then, you know, just check all your movements. Make sure you have all, all most ranges of motion um, with it on. So once you're all set up and you have your harness on, it's all adjusted to how it's supposed to be and you're comfortable. Uh, you want to take your tree strap, put it around the tree, and then if you're using a carabiner, um, that's probably the best way to do it is have a locking carabiner on the end and then go ahead and hook that to your tree strap. Tree strap. Close the lock, locking mechanism on your carabiner and then as you're climbing, go ahead and move your strap up every two steps or every step, whatever it is that you, your pace is. And then um, that's it. Once you get to the top of the tree, tighten up your tree strap and uh, that's it. You're ready to hunt. Another good option is once you have your, your setup, um, a lifeline, you know, a lifeline, basically once you set your tree stand up, you put it at the altitude, at the level that you're going to be hunting and then you have a rope. So once get to your sand in the morning and you're ready to hunt you hook up to the lifeline and then as you climb you just pretty much bring up your prusik knot and um, you're attached to the tree the whole way up so that's the main point you don't want to hook up to your stand um, you don't want to hook up to your climber or um, anything on the climber because if the climber fails that's it you're going to you're going to hit the ground so whenever you're hooking up to anything make sure it's the tree that you're climbing or the lifeline if you have that set up already all right guys thanks for watching if you like what you saw make sure you click the like button and drop some comments down below if you have any questions on something that wasn't very clear to you also please make sure to check out our giveaway video some one lucky winner is going to be getting this here tree stand click this video for the rules